There they go. They are all wreaking havoc. All right, guys, we are in New Philly at Menards, and I have been hearing there's lots and lots of Halloween goodness inside, so let's go find out. I remember when this was a super Kmart. I watched that get torn down, this be built, and now it's gonna become a Halloween city. Not really, but let's go inside. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I don't know if you can see this up here or not, but we are coming right upon the Halloween stuff, and I am getting so excited already because it looks totally awesome of course they have a lot of things like this but what we are here to see mostly is this stuff oh my gosh guys they have some awesome stuff this year we're gonna look at all this stuff in a second here a bunch of inflatables and blow molds one of which is right here the animated axe throwing vampire look at this he's got a blue face he looks like something off sesame street and he's throwing the axes at this skeleton boy who's spinning on the, uh, what the heck do you call it? On the spinning target. <laughs> but look at these two guys. And this is just the beginning. They have stepped it up this year. The animated Reaper, who apparently they don't have plugged in. But look at this guy. He is He's probably six feet tall, maybe even seven. And then we got this witch over here who also is not plugged in. 72 inch witch. Look at her. The only thing that's weird about her is like, look at the flat hands. That's kind of crazy. But look at her face up there. I really wish we could see those two in action. They have a Pennywise inflatable here, which is okay. It's not the greatest Pennywise thing I've ever seen. But over here is where the really cool stuff is. Holy crap. Look at the brimstone dragon waving his arms. They're not arms. I keep calling them arms. They're wings. They're spooky wings. <laughs> his eyes light up. And I know you guys want to see this right now. The smoldering ghoul. Look at this guy. Oh my gosh. I could see him from all the way across the store lit up and just waving back and forth. Let's look at him real close up. Look, his feet are even smoldering. He looks like lava and his clothes are the same. And then look at this. Oh my gosh. He just towers over you. 90 inches. He is so cool. <laughs> look at these two going together here. That is so awesome right now. Oh my gosh. All right, then beside them, we have the 78-inch snarling werewolf, and he is snarling. Look at this guy. Can you hear him? Look at his eyes. Oh, he has those digit eyes. In fact, I think I saw him last year in here, but I don't remember. I just love seeing these things all together going crazy. Look at this. Oh, come on. <laughs> As soon as I say it, they stop moving. There they go. They are all wreaking havoc. All except this guy right here, the 12 foot animated Reaper. Look at this guy. Keep looking, cause he's all the way up there. They have all of these going, but not this guy, the towering Inferno. No, that's not actually the Inferno. The Inferno is a Home Depot prop that's a, a, a pumpkin. But this guy, man, I would love to see him moving around up there. I want to see exactly what he does. Here's this box right here. It says, posable shoulders and elbows, head and torso move, utters creepy greetings, motion activated with on-off timer. Fire and Ice animated Reaper. So he must have those fire and ice lights I'm always talking about that kind of looks like a kaleidoscope. Oh, holy crap. Wait a minute. I see a try me button. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Keep got that. Come on, keep going. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You can hear him laughing, but he's so high up there, you can't hear his phrases. And look at this. That is cool. The light that's above him is so bright, it looks like the moon. So if you had this guy outside in your yard, this is what he would look like with the scary Halloween moon behind him. <laughs> oh, and we also have the lanky werewolf, the 64-inch lanky werewolf. And he's not turned on either. I mean, it looks like he's plugged in, but I don't even see a button where we could get him going. Let's push this one more time and then step back and look at him. Here we go. He said, I have so many souls to take. Your soul is next. Look at that guy's face, man. That is pretty cool. Okay, look down here. This is pushed up in there, but it's the skeletons carrying a coffin. Are they animated? Um, I don't think they're animated, but it is pretty cool looking. Let's get a close up there. Yeah, they had something like that at Big Lots last year. Okay, let's come back over here and look at these uh, inflatables. So right off the bat, we have the Pennywise inflatable that I showed you down there. I mean, you gotta love Pennywise. However, that's not the greatest looking face I've ever seen. I don't know, kind of cool. We got the dragon with disco lights, the monster trio in the pumpkin. So we got a witch, a Frankenstein, and a ghosty in a pumpkin. Oh, we got this guy, the skeleton boy that goes up and down. We just saw one pretty much exactly like that at the at-home store the other day. We got the inflatable vampire, the inflatable mummy. You guys know I love mummies. Mummies are such classic Halloween stuff. Down here we have the inflatable reaper and then a bigger inflatable dragon, another ghost. Uh, there's the axe-throwing vampire and the infinity mirror. That's the other one that we saw at the at-home store. Look at this, we got the inflatable Sanderson sisters. We got Harry Potter, Harry Potter. <laughs> we got Frank and Bob, and then a Yoda, and we have uh, a pumpkin. And these aren't really blow molds, but I always refer to them as blow molds. We got the big pumpkins, an orange one, and a black one. We got Mr. Skelebones waving here. We got another skeleton down here. Ooh, he looks like a reaper. And he's got that little light and it looks like you actually put like a tea candle in that light and then we got another pumpkin over here of course we have a bunch of the basic harvest scarecrows look at these little tinsel figures oh my gosh it's an orange spider made of tinsel and then we have a tombstone we have a ghost and a witch look at the face on her we have a witch hat, and what's this? Oh, it's like a cauldron with a spider, it says boo. Oh, look over here, we have the, uh, the Skella Dogs. This is a three-headed Skella Dog. Holy crap, I don't think I've ever seen the three-headed one before. I've seen the one-headed Skella Dog. <laughs> Let's see if he works. Yeah, here they go, look at this. All right, are all three of them gonna get moving? I mean, they're kind of moving. This one here and this one here are growling and this one's like almost barking. That is really cool. I've never seen one of these with three heads. We got the mini hay bales here. And then let's see what's down here. Oh yeah, all kinds of awesome Halloween stuff. Look at this guy here. Battery operated ceramic mummy lantern. He doesn't have a try me button on him, but he is pretty cool. Spooky Eyes Lantern. Uh, it's not working. Uh, let's see, we just got some pumpkins there. Look at this. We got a hoot owl. <laughs> Look at these little ghosty things here. We got a bat and a one-eyed monster who read the map wrong with his one eye. And then we have a witch. What is this? Block characters? That is actually pretty cool. That's something that I would make at home as a craft. Look at the purple one. And then we got the uh, pumpkin and a ghost back here, too. Then, of course, we have this guy here covering his ears. And that's also a battery-operated lantern of some kind. Okay. Oh, my gosh, we have the haunted dolls. Look at these things. Look at their faces. They have no eyes. That's what makes them really creepy. It seems that we saw this somewhere else, too. Maybe um, Cracker Barrel? Let's try it. Yeah, yeah, look at this. This is cool. It lights up 
and then it's got the water inside that moves and the sparkles. That is really cool. I love that. Halloween camper with ghosts. Oh, there's a different one back here that has ghosts and a pumpkin. And then what is this? A, a tabletop skull? Okay. What in the world? <laughs> Look at this Halloween photo frame. Watch the guy's face. As it turns, he turns into a ghoul. Nightmare Before Christmas light up pumpkins. We got Jack Skellington. Oogie Boogie, it looks like. Although, I thought Oogie Boogie was green, but maybe not because he's like burlap or something. And then there's uh, Sally. Oh, and we got the kids down here. Look at this guy. That's funny. And then there's another one there. And the third one over here. Yes. Tabletop ghosties. And then animated rollover dog. Okay, I wonder if we can find somewhere to do this. All right, yeah, none of these are working. They must have them, um, oh, there goes one. Peekaboo Peek bat, is that what that is? <laughs> oh, and we got more haunted dolls down here. Look at these things. Oh, these are cool. Look at this, try me. You left me in the closet, but I got out. You left me in the closet, but I got out. Don't look in your closet, just keep your eyes closed. <laughs> I love the echoing laugh. All right, let's see. Come on, work please. Here we go. She said, let's play a game where you pretend like I'm just a sweet, innocent doll. Pumpkin Hollow Brewing Witches. Oh, cool, look at this. Yes, Hocus Pocus vibes. Pumpkin Village animated scene. It's cats on pumpkins. And that is cool too. And here's Graveyard Ghosts. I love that. And look at these awesome retro statues. They're trick-or-treaters. Look at this one dressed up. It's a skeleton that's dressed up. And this one's a pumpkin with an owl. We got a cat with another cat. The mummy. And then look at this. Look at this cat. Look at its face. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. And then look at this guy with a giant smile over here. <laughs> Wait, we got a bobblehead right between these two haunted houses. Yes, look at this guy. Oh, that is so cool. Skeleton trick-or-treater bobblehead. And then right behind him, there's a witch bobblehead. And behind her, there's a ghost. We gotta get his head bobbling. Hold on now. Uh, it doesn't bobble as good. Wait, maybe if we pull on, yes, there it goes. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, hold on, there's even another one back here. Look at this guy, he's like a zombie. <laughs> Look at that. Half his brain is sticking out too. I love these things. Those are only 10 bucks a piece. Look at that. There's all four of them right there. Let me know if you guys go into your Menards, um, if you find more than just these four. We got a Freddy candy bowl holder down here. He's just made out of some kind of like foam. Oh, and he's, that's not very well made to be honest with you, but that could explain why he's on clearance because he originally was 30 bucks. Now he's only $17.99. Look at this. They have the pumpkin hollow uh, Halloween tree. Although if you wanted to use like a regular Christmas tree, a black one or a white one, here's little ornaments that you can put on that are Halloween colored. And then right here are even more, the nine pack. Oh, look at this. This has bats and ghosts and spider webs on them. Look at this, this is like a giant jack-o'-lantern candy. Oh, candy jack-o'-lantern, I see, and it's made of tin, but I think, I don't see a light in there, so you must have to put like, what the heck, how do you do that? You're supposed to put a light in there of some kind. Spider skeletons, and then we have these skeletons here. Oh, these are animated, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, all right, let's do this one. This is a 
Skeleton in Coffin Mermaid. And she's also animated. Okay, watch. Here we go. So, look at that. <laughs> All right. People are going to kill me if I'm in here making noise like that. Look at these little posable skeletons. There's always a pirate skeleton. What is this? Skeleton mice? Okay. Look at these. Crawling, creepy skeleton mouse. And then you have skeleton dragons. Okay. What the heck is this? Look at this. It's a Frankenstein. That is so cool. I don't think he lights up. Oh, he's battery operated, so he must light up. Yeah, he's turned on and there is no light in him, but that is pretty cool. Look at these little Halloween lanterns. Kids must take these trick-or-treating. There's a little light inside if you look closely. All right, we got the basic fall candles here. And let's see, some leaf bags. These are always cool. Just fill these up with leaves. And you got pumpkins to put in your front yard. Orange spider webs and white spider webs. Look at these trick-or-treat bags. I love these old classic looking ones. Especially these spiders. It reminds me of these drawing books we used to get at the library. Ed Emberley's big green or big orange or big purple drawing books. Look them up. They're totally cool. What in the world is this guy? It's a hinged jaw mask. It's like an ape. Oh, I see. It's one of those where when you move your own jaw, his jaw moves. All right, what's this one here? LED skull mask. All right, let's get this one going if it will. No, it's not turning on. You can imagine, though, how it works. Just lights up. We got the ceramic Frankenstein lantern. All right, let's come on over here for a minute because I see some witches and skeletons. Let's start over here. Look, we got the small skeletons here. I keep saying I need to get one of these to hang from the mirror in the Hummer. Here's one with a jacket on. Here's a chick skeleton. Maybe those two are getting married or something. Oh, what's this one? She's definitely getting married. <laughs> Maybe she's getting married and she's mad because she's not the one getting married, but she's getting married to him and she's mad. Here's some that are slightly bigger. Here's some that are dressed, illuminated, hanging ghoul. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but his head lights up. Oh, it changes colors too, blue and red. Cool. Oh, here's the, uh, the life-size skeletons too. And the eyes light up. Let's see, five feet and they're poseable. Yeah, the eyes light up on him. And then let's see, do the eyes light up on this guy? Yes, yep, there they are. Wow, those really light up. And we got a couple of witches here with tiny hands. Oh. <laughs> I love how there's a sound of a bubbling cauldron in the background. Look at this little guy in the hammock. This is all this pumpkin hollow stuff, I think it's called. You can set up like an entire pumpkin town in your house. Yeah, Pumpkin Hollow is what it's called. Look at this stuff. Look, this is like a slide, and there's ghosts and bats and pumpkins going down the slide. That is so cool. We got the haunted houses back here, the haunted courthouse. Look at this witch with her bubbling cauldron. There's skeleton bones in there. There's probably dead man's toes in there. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have the spooky bumper cars here. It's like a whole spooky park. It's like Spooky Island with the rides, the spooky rides. And here's the flying witches. You get to ride on a pumpkin or, okay, that witch is just hanging there, I guess. But look at this one. Here's a small boy riding on an octopus. <laughs> Pumpkins for sale, eyeball donuts, what the heck? The swinging happy couple. Sweet bones and hot blood, what the heck? And it looks like we have a few more things down here. These are just like the wooden yard decorations. Uh, more hay bales here, some gnomes. Oh, and here's some of the inflatables that we were looking at earlier. Look at these statues here. We have the Skull Man statue and then his bride down there. A couple of different masks here. This one that looks really creepy though. Look at that. That looks like something you'd see in like the Purge movie or something. Her name is Porcelain Penny, and this is Por Porcelain Patricia. And then there's one more here. What is this one? Porcelain Polly. Shiny skull and 
whatever that is. And then we missed these a minute ago because there were so many people in this aisle, but I think these are animatronics. Look at this. This is like a trick-or-treating skeleton. Try me. Oh! Look at that. He's a jump scare skeleton. <laughs> I'm dying for some candy. All right, he puts his head down. Here we go. Okay. I'm curious to see what this spooky girl does because she's got a teddy bear. All right. Holy crap, she is way spooky. I can't even understand what she's saying, but it's too spooky. Whoa, she's spooky enough, but look at the size of those feet. <laughs> yeah, look at this, this is just too funny. It's a little girl with a teddy bear in size 12. <laughs> and then we got the talking scarecrow over here. Look at his face. And then look, he also has a bird, a raven, a lord raven on his shoulder. Let's see, where's the button? Here we go. So he's laughing and the raven is making sounds. Oh look, here's some other things I almost missed. These are assorted pumpkin hollow foam decorations. This is a giant skull. And then we have a giant pumpkin here. It says, try me. Let's see if it works. Oh. He screams. Okay. Oh, this is cool. We also have a Dracula and a Frankenstein. Yes, I love Frankenstein. And, of course, this stuff that I showed you when I first walked in, and I was too excited because I wanted to look at those animatronics over there. All right, and real quick before we go, for some reason they put uh, inflatables up way far away from where this stuff is actually at to buy. But there's the big archway, and then we got the pumpkin kids up there, and there's the infinity mirror. Uh, can't even think of what he's called. But uh, yeah, there he is. All right, I am out of here, guys. Quick look at Menards. They had a lot of awesome things here. Stay tuned, because we got more to see. Ah, 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 ah!